Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're diving into some breaking news from Missouri, where tragic flash floods have taken the lives of five people, including two poll workers. The floods were triggered by torrential rainfall that poured over parts of the state, bringing as much as eight inches of rain in just two days. This heavy rainfall created a wave of flood-related emergencies across the region, with dozens of people needing rescue. In addition to the severe flooding, this storm system also produced tornadoes in neighboring states, adding even more danger to the area. In Wright County, a rural area southeast of Kansas City, two poll workers lost their lives after their vehicles were swept away by fast-rising floodwaters early Tuesday morning. The vehicles, driven by a 70-year-old man and a 73-year-old woman, were carried into Beaver Creek around 4.30 a.m., where search crews later found their bodies several hours later. This tragic event hit the small community hard, especially since both victims were actively serving as poll workers, a crucial role on Election Day. Meanwhile, three other people managed to escape from two other cars swept up by the creek, managing to swim to safety in a heroic effort. In St. Louis County, floodwaters claimed the lives of two more people after their vehicles became submerged in Grevois Creek. Firefighters recovered the body of a woman from her SUV after breaking through the sunroof, and later, a man's body was also found in the same creek. Missouri state troopers also reported the death of a 66-year-old man whose vehicle was carried off a bridge by rushing waters in Ironton, adding to the list of tragic losses from this natural disaster. Fire crews in St. Louis had to rescue 10 other people from flooded vehicles, highlighting the scale of the crisis faced by first responders across the region. This storm system, which caused such devastation in Missouri, also unleashed tornadoes in parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas, with four confirmed tornadoes in Oklahoma alone. Fortunately, no fatalities or injuries were reported from these tornadoes, but the severe weather underscored the importance of emergency preparedness and community support in times like these. Missouri, along with its neighboring states, will be assessing the damage in the coming days. And our thoughts are with the families and communities affected by this tragedy. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe for more updates on important news stories and events. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.